Hello buddy, it's Zechariah. As you know, I am taking my running for fellow police officers, firefighters, and U.S. Border Patrol members who your life in line of duty in 2020. And unfortunately, I'm running for another firefighter who has passed away. And so I'm running for firefighter and EMT, Robert Cree. He worked at the Harrison Township Volunteer Fire Department in Indiana, and his end of watch was November 22, 2020. And lost his life after suffering a heart, apparent heart attack upon go, returning home um, after going to a medical emergency call just early, uh, at a residence just hours before. He was 72 years old at the time of his passing and served a total of 45 years with the Harrison Township Volunteer Fire Department. Um, he was a member of the Indiana Volunteer Firefighters uh, uh, Association and leaves behind a wife, son, daughter, and five grandchildren. Today I'm running with the red line flag, red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around track of my school, which is the Oklahoma, Oklahoma in his honor. I'll be doing here tonight by the Orange, Orange County Sheriff's Office backpacks who play tunes during the run, and the U.S. Customs and Border Protection who will be patrolling during the run as well. Even though it seems like I'm the only one running during this run tonight, at the same time there's even more running than that's all the fallen I have ran for. I know they're all running in spirit tonight, including fallen firefighter and EMT Robert Curry. Before the run starts, I'm going to a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through the hearts I've been going through, and then I'll be on my way. For those that are tuning in this evening, tonight Zachariah running his first of two miles tonight, this first mile in honor of fallen firefighter and EMT Robert Cree. He worked for the Harrison Township uh, Volunteer Fire Department in Indiana. His last alarm was November the 22nd, 2020. Tragically, he lost his life following an apparent heart attack upon returning home from a medical emergency that transpired at a residential home just a few hours prior. He was 72 years old at the time of his passing, served a total of 45 years as a member of the Harrison Township Volunteer Fire Department, was also a member of the Indiana Volunteer Firefighters Association, and leaves behind a wife, son, daughter, and five grandchildren. Zachary completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile to honor this hero tonight. For every mile that Zechariah completes, uh, he carries with him a unique flag. Each flag sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. This flag, a red line flag, will be sent to the family of fallen firefighter and EMT Robert Cree. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this flag mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow up post later this evening with information on how you can be a part of the flag mission as well as the injured first responder grant. Again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to fallen firefighter and EMT Robert Cree. A 45-year veteran of the Harrison Township Volunteer Fire Department in Indiana, his end of watch, November the 22nd, 2020, tragically suffered an apparent heart attack shortly after returning home after responding to a medical emergency at the residence just a few hours prior. Was 72 years old, was also a member of the Volunteer uh, Indiana Volunteer Firefighters Association. He's behind a wife, son, daughter, and five grandchildren. Zachary right, completing his second of seven laps to honor this hero. We are always very appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out and help honor our fallen heroes alongside of Zechariah. Helping to honor fallen firefighter and EMT Robert Cree tonight, we have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection that is patrolling behind Zechariah and playing pipes here starting on this next lap. We have a member of the Orange County Sheriff's Office and Piper for the Orange County Pipes and Drums Band. Once again, we're here to pay tribute to 45-year veteran of the uh, Harrison Township Volunteer Fire Department 
firefighter and EMT Robert Cree. I'm going to go silent starting on this next lap. I'll remain silent for the duration of the run as we reflect on the many years of service given by this hero, firefighter and EMT, Mr. Robert Cree. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the Cree family, his wife, his son, his daughter, his grandchildren. Our prayers also go out to everybody with the Harrison Township Volunteer Fire Department and all those in this community mourning the loss of one of their heroes. We hope this run brings you comfort and peace tonight as we never forget the many years of service of firefighter and EMT, Robert Cree. <coughs>
Jack Ryan, any final words for the family of fallen firefighter and EMT Robert Cree? I hope fallen firefighter and EMT Robert Cree's whole family endeavors to Harrison Township Volunteer Fire Department heals through his hard time up in Indiana. You know, he was, he sounded like an amazing man, 72 years old. He was continuing to serve uh, through, through, um, through all of his years. You know, he was, like I said, he was 72 years old and served a total of 45 years as a, fire, a volunteer firefighter. You know, that's one of the highest uh, people I've run for that I've worked so much years. And, you know, he sounded like a very dedicated man. Uh, and, you know, volunteer firefighters, lots of them are volunteers and they don't get actually, they don't actually get paid for it as well. So they go, the, so lots of volunteer firefighters and officers, you know, go out there not to, it's, it's technically not their job, it's just one of their hobbies because, you know, they, the volunteers don't actually get paid for it, they're just volunteers. And, you know, that's, that's even more dedicated uh, for people that are volunteer firefighters that serve this long because, you know, they're doing it just to help out, just to help out their community every single day, not getting paid for it. They're just going out there uh, and wanting to help out the other firefighters and officers who are also on their job as well. And, you know, he sounded like an amazing man as well. He also served with the, he also was a member of the Indiana Volunteer Firefighters Association. So uh, he also helped all of other volunteer firefighters around him, which is also truly, truly incredible. Uh, to the family, I'll be giving you the red line flag I run with in his honor, as it's a handwritten note. No matter how you display it or how you, or what you do with it, I just want you to know every single time you look at the flag, you know how much of a hero your fallen friend or family member was. Um, like I said, he served um, his, his very best until his last breath as a, as a firefighter. And, you know, he sounded like an amazing man, like I said. He left behind a wife, son, daughter, and five grandchildren as well. So he left behind lots of loving family members who are also probably grieving. I hope they heal. And, you know, what happened to him was also very sad, you know, heart attack while coming home. Uh, if you all would like to join me in a 45 second moment of silence in each second day kidding one year with the um, Harrison Township Volunteer Fire Department, please do. Because during those 45 seconds, it will mean so much to the family. If you do join me in this next uh, few, uh, in this next uh, few seconds, 45 seconds in his honor. Thank you very much for the general room of silence. Like I said, the families will be smiling if you did join me in that last 45 seconds in his honor. We have one more to do tonight, and the next one is for a fallen officer, so please stay tuned for that run. Once again, thank you all, thank you all for watching. If you're first for a please stay safe. Once again, thank you for watching, and I pray God blesses you all.